What's going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of Battle Replay. And、uh, in this episode, I am playing dwarfs against vampire counts. So let's go over my opponent's army. So、uh, he's got a very big army here. So I'm gonna start with the multi engine. And one, two. Three skeleton warriors, a necromancer with、uh, summon zombie, wind region attack, and healing. One, two, three, four, five grave guard great weapons. One corpse guard on holy lantern. A vampire lord on Pegasus with summon zombie,、uh, MA buff, invocation of Nehek, and、uh, and the shield ability and also the wind region ability, Arcan Candent, and a White King on foot, and a Black Coach. Now let's jump over to my army. As dwarves, I have a very simple army here. So one and two nombius great weapon on each flank at rank one, and the grumbling guards nombius great weapon regiments of renown. Picket guard hammers regiments of renown. A rune lord with a、uh, a、uh, wrath rune wrath. Master Rune Wrath, and、uh, the negation Rune negation.、Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six colors. One thing, two thing on each flank with、uh, owning the net, a Slayer unit, and a Dragonback Slayers, and that's all. So let's see how this plays out. So of course,、uh, vampire is gonna slowly creeping forward, and then as dwarves, we're just gonna pretty much stay here and take it. And I want to comment on this move here. It's. Uh, it's understandable that he want to make a strong healing box here with a necromancer, corpse card, and、uh, multi singing. Just、uh, focus on healing this、uh, sort of blocks. And the thing is, I'm not sure if my opponent knows that if you. If you make your troops in this kind of block box formation, they actually don't do well. Okay, now you can see here because、uh, Kopska entered my range, our、uh, color range like、um, first. So I focus far, and you can see one volley took its health pool down to like two thirds. And soon there will be another volley, basically dropping, dropping him really low. And he summoned a zombie on both on two of my colors. And then I switched. So I have six of them, right? As you can see, two,、uh, two of them focus on killing the corpse guard, and the rest of them focus on the mortis engine. And at the same time, I charged forward with all my infantry into here, and、uh, those those grave guard great weapon in a box formation stand pretty much no chance against my infantry. All right. All right. And bam. Mortis engine gun. 
I'm not too sure. Uh, I'm. This is like really questionable move. Like when you play a VC against dwarves, uh, as I introduced before in my previous vic vic videos. You never want to rush forward with your Mortis engine and then your Corpse Cut until you actually fully occupy uh, colors. Uh, in this case, colors don't really don't really bother much, but the <coughs> but zombies because of AT armor. So colors will take pretty much no damage from zombie, and then. I netted this black coach and surround him with a uh, FN and a Slayer unit. Meanwhile, I'm pushing these Dragonback Slayers into the Vampire Lord. And also the same here. And then this Kopska got uh, killed as well. Uh, next target will be the Necromancer. There you go, focus fire on the Necromancer. Now, I believe I should cast the net very soon, or not. Anyways, so uh, I believe I casted net already, but Vampire Lord didn't take that much damage. And the uh, skeleton warriors are wrapping around, uh, pushing into the flank, but uh, they're gonna be quickly taken care of by my dragon bats. And this frontline engagement is really not going into my uh, opponent's way. As you can see here, only this unit of Graveguard Grey Weapon is actually doing a decent job against my non Grey Weapon. And uh, this, this, and this, even this unit here got pretty much uh, deleted. And while all this is happening, my, um, my colors are still just firing into the Vampire Lord. And now the Vampire Lord actually decided to take on my Rune Lord, which is not really a good engagement for him, unfortunately. Alright, so at this point, uh, the Vampire Frontline is almost gone. Even though he did a very good job summoning zombies on my colorist, but as you can see, zombies really don't bother the colorist that much. Cast another master rule of wrath of rune on this unit here, pretty much uh, killed it. And the uh, dragon back still chasing the black coach. Meanwhile, I'm just clearing uh, the back line with my slayers. And at this moment, I believe my opponent was attempting to draw Kate me. And then somehow his army just decided to crumble. And uh, yeah. GG. So. <clears throat> this is not a bad army for sure. But I think you when you try to fight dwarves like in a very tight formation as I went. You kind of need to wrap around. You need to go wide, not go in with a box formation with your grave guards. As you can see, how poorly they stack against a uh, dwarf infantry. Pick a guard, 150 kills, and all on these guys. Grumbling guards, 137. These two units just murdering those grave guards. Even uh, non beers grew up and did just way better job than those guys. And at the same time, Mortis engine need to be kept safe. Um, 
and it's not just not going through in the middle you know anyways so this is a short video but uh, it's a very good demonstration of uh, how to fight VC with dwarves and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it if you like my video please consider subscribe and I will see you guys next time peace